Welcome to the city of Shenzhen in uh, Guangdong, China. Wow, what's this? Um, this bicycle is uh, very interesting. Uh, somebody just uh, did it here. It's called uh, Mu Bike. Uh, and it's currently uh, in the lock position, so nobody can use it there. I think um, this is the first um, IoT uh, bicycle. IoT means uh, Internet of Things bicycle. So uh, anyone just leave it here and then um, if uh, you have the uh, application in the mobile phone to use this bicycle, just uh, simply um, scan this uh, QR code here and then you can able to use this bicycle. Currently now the bicycle is uh, locked in here and it's the QR code here. I don't have the application to uh, use this bicycle. Later I will ask my friend uh, how to use the uh, IOD uh, bicycle. Internet of Things uh, bicycle. So nobody will go in to uh, take that bicycle. So the good thing is uh, the metro, uh, the metro station here, the Dauphin metro station is uh, over there. That is the uh, uh, Shenzhen metro. Uh, you just have to use the bicycle uh, from uh, there. That's about 100 meters. To, uh, the garden I live. Uh, that's the beauty of having the IoT bicycle. They just leave it there. If you have the application, use it, and then uh, go to the metro station or go somewhere else. Uh, after you uh, finish it, just leave it there, and uh, anybody can able to use that bicycle to help the application. I'm going to install the application later. In my information of the bags, uh, it says here is that. Um, uh, for 30 minutes is a 0.5 RMB. That is uh, 0.5 multiplied by 7 is um, a 3.5 peso per uh, 30 minutes. Mobile phone. So I'm going to borrow one mobile phone just to uh, feel what's the uh, IoT bicycle here in uh, Shenzhen, China. Application wow. software. Click it on. We got the mobile uh, apps running up and. Uh, yeah, show you where are you located in uh, Buji uh, Shenzhen. Mm. Just go ahead, scan it off. Scan it here. And let's see uh, if we are lucky. And there you are. Okay, so. Oh, it's automatically unlock it now. Mm. Well, uh, you can see and you can use it. So, what it says, it shows you the um, location. Catch the price. So the price is a uh, 0.5 uh, RMB. RMB and per... this one is the car number. Okay, the, the car number is uh, what's the car number? It's a uh, it ends with uh, seven nine. Five. That is uh, zero three seven, Mechanism. and that is our oh, nine three seven. So that is nine three seven. So I'm ready to use it. Can you still move? Yeah. Oh, there you are. I think it. Uh, use it. Uh, and uh, ready for ride. of the garden I live and I just have to leave the uh, IOT bicycle the mobile here in front of the garden and uh, how I'm going to uh, lock it uh, and then uh, so uh, is there any signal coming from your uh, mobile phone yes. what it says because I hear the beep uh, what it says uh, what it says uh, and there you are is uh, finish it's a uh, it charge you 0 0.5 RMB for uh, how many minutes? Did uh, say? 17 minutes. 17? Mm. Wow, okay. So that's good. So when you lock this uh, one and um, this system of the mobile will send um, uh, information on the mobile phone. Once again, the IOT bicycle and it's nice to have it here. So from this place uh, to the metro station, that's the metro, I uh, can use it uh, instead of this. Uh, um, you can see the difference in here. And this
very similar but um, I'm not so sure this is uh, an eye cookie and um, it looks to me that it's more expensive that uh, it needs to pay one RMB I don't know uh, how many minutes uh, but it, it's very looks the same but it's uh, pretty pretty low cost but why it's more expensive and uh, I'm not so sure this is an IOT it's uh, powered by uh, the internet but uh, definitely if you compare to this one it looks uh, more of an IOT bicycle. It's the Mobike uh, versus Oppo. This Mobike is the Southern China design, and this is Oppo, the Northern China design. Wow! It looks uh, the quantity is uh, bigger than uh, Mobike for Oppo. And definitely, I don't know this one. This is a personal bike. It's not included in the IOT bike. That's it. So currently, this uh, bicycle uh, left uh, in here, and um, the status right now it is a lock. And definitely, it's lock. Let me borrow your mobile phone, and then uh, let's see uh, how the. Uh, Internet of Things uh, bicycle uh, can be used. Uh, okay, so uh, it shows to you the location. I definitely cannot handle this one because it's uh, pure Chinese. There is no English at the moment. Uh, all right, can you scan okay. it now? Mm -hmm. All right, so it's scanning the QR code and it says uh, it's scanned. And what it says? Sorry, this car have an issue, so, so please change another one. What it says? Um, oh, uh, well, uh, I, I retranslate that one, so it looks to me that um, this bike uh, has some issue mm -hmm. and uh, ask you to have another one. So maybe it's run out of battery and um, it cannot uh, receive the uh, signal uh, via the uh, 4G uh, wireless or whatever. Um, the thing is, have issue. <laughs> I am disappointed, definitely. I'm... Oh gosh, I see the mobile there. We got the blue color and the orange color and the other one in there. Unfortunately, I cannot take them because um, I don't have the application software to uh, order it. Um, I just have to walk going to the uh, metro station. So that's the uh, train over there. And uh, the uh, metro station is just about um, 100 meters from here. 